Well, here's another hero that we can all agree on. 2019 Best Teacher in the World, Peter Tabichi. Tabichi scooped the prestigious Global Teacher Prize in Dubai this year for giving away 80% of his monthly income to sponsor pupils who hail from poor families so that they too can get a chance to go to school. And he's joining us now via Skype from Armenia where he is attending a conference there. You're undoubtedly a Kenyan hero and a global icon. When you were, you know, sharing your salary with needy students, Students. Did you think your actions would have such a global impact? No, um, I didn't know that I'll match to be the winner, the global teacher. But now I, I just want to use this uh, uh, opportunity to thank God for the gift of life. And the, uh, the mass, you know, is mass for them. I want to thank my students. It's, it's because of their achievement that I, I was able to be given the award. I also want to thank many, uh, many people, including the teachers, who are working hard to ensure that the children get the best. So basically, uh, I really want to appreciate everyone. It's something that came as a surprise to me, and therefore, um, I really thank everyone. I thank God. And thank everyone. So why did you do it? Why would you give away 80% of your salary, not expecting anything? Uh, we are all called to serve and help one another. You know, that is, uh, means that all of us are servants and uh, we are one family. You know, we are all brothers and sisters. And therefore, by helping the children, by helping the community, so you see, we are really bring uh, the, the important role that they are supposed to play in society. And therefore, that's why. I do it, and I get a lot of inspiration. It inspires me when I see people's, uh, the lives of people changing. And uh, I feel like, like uh, it's really also making someone smile. You know, life is all about making yourself happy and also making others happy. Absolutely. Um, you have now become a global figure traveling the world. You're currently in Armenia where you're going to speak at a conference. Do you worry about the kids back at Keriko Mixed Day School? Who, who takes care of them when you're away? Of course I'm worried, but at the moment you see when you want to become the winner of the Global Teacher Prize, you become the ambassador. So in the first few months or the first year, you, you are required to go out and share the story with other people, and that's what exactly I'm doing, but I miss the students. But I want to say that they are okay because I, back at school, we work as a team. You know, we, we work as, you know, we collaborate, and therefore other teachers are helping so much. But I wish that when I go back, I'd be able to continue doing what I was doing, and doing better because now that I'm uh, really facing many... Uh, schools and uh, meeting and interacting with other teachers and the students, I'm learning new things which I'll be able to share with them once I go back uh, next time. All right. And, and uh, you have met uh, the most powerful man in the world, U.S. President Donald Trump. Um, what do you make of him and what were your discussions about? Basically, it was uh, to share my story about how I teach why I teach, you know, what I go through. And uh, I can say that he listened to me carefully. Um, also uh, talked about the importance of really supporting educational affairs in Africa. So he listened to me, and it's my hope that, you know, an action is going to be taken. And um, of course, I, it's my hope that oh, everyone, everyone in the society or leaders in the world are really going to promote science and education in Africa. Because oh. we are really, really going to so many, facing so many challenges which needs to be, uh, really get a solution. Okay, did he make any specific promise or commitment to you regarding supporting education in Kenya? So I can say that the main thing was uh, to basically uh, share with him my story and uh, that's what I did. And uh, um, I hope that maybe an action is going to be it's an action that is going to be taken. Finally, do you think Kenya does enough to recognize persons like yourself um, in society, you know, teachers or other everyday heroes? And what do you think the government should be doing for people like yourself? 
I believe that everyone is a hero. You know, like where I come from, uh, my students, the students have uh, very uh, given my support, are also heroes. The teachers have uh, met in life who have inspired me also heroes. Everyone is a hero and everyone requires, uh, really needs that cognition. And uh, I can see that we need to celebrate the heroes, we need to celebrate everyone, and the government is really also doing the same, like now, it, it being Mashucha Day, I think it's a wonderful day of celebrating the heroes, and the heroes need to be given uh, more support, not just celebrating them, but also giving them uh, support in order for them to turn their dreams into realities. What kind of support? What kind of support? Uh, basically, giving them support, it could be in terms of finance, really supporting them, uh, you know, these people who are doing great things have dreams. So if they can be given uh, really that support so that they can to turn the, those dreams into realities. And um, uh, basically, I can say that also maybe as a way of sharing their story to other people, you know, like writing their biography and so on and so forth. Right. And uh, that's that would be a wonderful way. Uh, but I believe that all of us are, uh, really have a point, an important role to play in life. You know, all of us are, you know, all of us have a gift. We have a talent, and we, can, we should use of those gifts that we have for the benefit of everyone in the society. And that's why I believe that every all of us are, are heroes and heroines. And, and finally, as, as you know, uh, back here at home, we are faced with very many challenges like corruption, poverty, um, inequality and the like. How would you uh, encourage everyday Kenyans to become heroes in their communities and uh, in, in the country? I believe that everyone has a role to play in the society and um, there are a number of that we can do. Uh, one of the things that we can do is uh, to take initiative to transform the, the world. You know, we are like change makers. We are uh, we, 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 we can change the world. So, and we can do that one by just um, ordinary things. What we do, you know, uh, uh, doing more on what the ordinary things. We don't have to like uh, the senior people in the government hall. Those high positions, you know, the ordinary things in life, that's what we should really do our best, ensure that we have passion in what we're doing, and then uh, we have humility all the time, we should really have people, humility towards you have humility, I'm very sure you'll be able to do a lot to the society. And then you have to be selfless, because everyone in the society, you know, the people that we meet, uh, is part of us, you know, they are our brothers and sisters, we are one family, and therefore we need to really uh, see everyone as part of us, and in that case you'll be able to do more, have that passion, uh, really uh, what you are, do your role, you are supposed to, really, your contribution you are supposed to make to the society. And then the other thing is uh, to work as a team, Work as a team. I believe that teamwork can make us do great things. You know, cooperation. And then finally, when you are doing something, you don't need like recognition. You don't do something because you want you, you think that you are going to get the recognition. Just do it because it is going to transform uh, the lives of other people. And therefore, I think today you'll be able to make yourself happy and also make others happy. And I think that's the purpose of life. We are uh, really uh, uh, prepared to promote peace and harmony in the society. I think it couldn't have been put better. Thank you very much, brother, teacher, Peter Tabichi. We celebrate you on Punchline, and Kenya certainly celebrates you. Thank you for flying our flag high. That is uh, Peter Tabichi speaking to us from Armenia, where he is attending a conference. So we're taking a short break here on Punchline. But when we return, we are asking the government why it has refused to give the full force of law to the National Heroes Act. And later in the program, controversial State House operative Dennis Itumbi joins me in studio to defend that honor that he received in 2017. Don't go away. <laughs> 